G'day guys, this is Captain Noob, and this is the R91 Assault Rifle, or better known as the Assault Rifle from Fallout 3. So this is a highly customizable standalone assault rifle, which is all made with custom models and textures and looks really slick. So let's get into the attachments here. First of all, I'm going to chuck this up to a powerful automatic receiver. I want to get into using this just, just exactly how it was back in Fallout 3. So obviously, short barrel belongs to the infiltrator, so we'll chuck on the long barrel there. For the stock, we've got a chance with a choice between no stock and full stock. Obviously, the no stock is from the infiltrator, so we'll not use that just yet. Next up for the mags, we'll chuck in the large quick eject mag. There's no reason not to. And for the sights, we get a choice between a long scope, a reflex sight, or a recon scope. We'll go ahead and check, uh, leave on the uh, iron sights there. And we've definitely got a muzzle piece here we can chuck on if we so want to. But we'll leave that uh, just as it is for now. But to give this thing a little bit more power, we'll go ahead and chuck on the staggering effect. There we go. I think that'll suit it well. Won't add to the damage that much, but we'll increase the survivability of this. Let's get into this. Although, before we get into this, we might as well go back and look at this weapon back in the Fallout 3. Righto, Fallout 3 Assault Rifles. This is the regular Assault Rifle that you'd find in the base game. They're relatively common. They do alright damage. They do degrade though, so that's pretty bad. They sound like this. Which is actually a kind of cool sound. But there's unique versions of this, which I'll get to now. So this is the Alloy Steel one. This is actually cut content from Operation Anchorage, but as you can see there, it is the same texture from the Operation Anchorage simulation assault rifle and looks a heap cleaner which is really good and last but not least the infiltrator from the uh, Pittsburgh DLC or whatever this thing has a shorter barrel a suppressor and a scope and yeah this thing goes all right it sounds a little bit different when you shoot it but how does this do in damage I'll go ahead and demonstrate this on let's say Moira Brown here yeah <laughs> That's alright. And also, <laughs> he's decided to turn up to work naked today. I think I might have uh, uninstalled a mod that gave him clothing, or gave him alternate clothing, and now it's taking it off him. But anyway, that's the assault rifles back in the Fallout 3s, and this is uh, original Chinese stealth armor, so that's cool. Back into 4. Righto, let's get started here with the R91 assault rifle. So we're rocking 40 bullets in the mag instead of this Fallout 3's 24, which is probably going to be useful. But let's get into shooting these gunners nice and easily here. We've got the staggering effect helping us out. So while we aren't doing a whole lot of damage, we're keeping the enemies nice and staggered. And as you can hear with this weapon, we're getting really cool sound effects. Is why I didn't put the suppressor on. I wanted to show off the cool sound effects that this weapon makes. It's still got that nice metallic clanking sound every time you shoot it back in Fallout 3, but it feels a little bit better. And somebody's got a very high rate of fire weapon indeed. So we're able to mag dump that gunner there nice and easily. And the hip fire of this weapon actually isn't too bad at all. So we can go ahead and spray this gunner down up close without having to aim at him. And if it was back in the Fallout 3 times where zooming in was just looking down your gun and zooming the camera in a bit, I think third person suits that whole aiming style quite a lot, so... Yes, you are the one with that rapid fire weapon. I think that was one of the assault carbons that I've still got the mod of. Some of the gunners still go around and carrying that. And speaking of gunners carrying weapons, this is how you receive this weapon. If you aren't lazy and use console commands like me, you can go ahead and find this weapon on level 24 gunners. So, unlike the Watts laser rifle yesterday, this thing will actually drop on mid-level gunners instead of extremely low level ones, which tells me this weapon is supposed to be round about on par with the assault rifle which is already in the game, which is pretty sweet. Although I'd say that our regular assault rifle still performs better, I do enjoy seeing a friendly familiar face in the R91 assault rifle in the Fallout 4, so that's really cool. So we're pretty much being hammered right now. The Assault rifle that we're using isn't quite able to keep up with all these gunners, but we'll get to there eventually. And it's nice that we've got the staggering effect on this. It's quite, uh, it's helping us out quite a bit without making the weapon too overpowered, which is good. So there you go. So with the reload, you can also do it in third person, which is really neat. And the reload loosely follows exactly what um the reload was back in the Fallout 3s, which is really awesome. 
it's always good having that consistency. And also the sound is rather similar too. Almost done with this main room of Gunner. There you go, that's her down. And is that a laser sight going through a wall? I don't know, they could do that. Well, at least not in Fallout 4. Don't think that happens in real life. Yeah, this thing is going quite well, and even though its damage is a little bit on the low side, it feels like it's still stronger than the weapon, um, the Watts laser rifle that I used last time. Something about ballistic weapons seem to have uh, just a, I don't know, just seem to have more of an impact on your enemies, although we could probably use just shooting at our enemies a little bit better now. There we go. Doing heaps and heaps of damage with Nerd Rage and Destroyer of Arcadia proccing at the same time. Managed to mutate her in a few hits. Please kill this gunner. Ooh, we're cutting it close here today on Captain Noob. But I think we'll pull through just fine. Just got one more turret to kill and then we can jam a stim pack into our shoulders and that'll make all the bullet wounds go away in an instantaneous hit. There you go, mate. There we go. Chuck that in ya. Feels good. Alrighty, so that was the standard assault rifle. Let's go switch up to the infiltrator and take on Swan. I don't think this will quite cut it. Righto, so I've got this thing kitted up to be like an infiltrator with a short barrel, no stock, and a scope on it. So let's go ahead and see what this thing can do. So as you can tell there, the hip fire is a little bit better with the um with the sh with the short barrel on it, but the scope on this thing is a little excessive. I think that is equivalent to a long scope or something. So it's a huge, huge zoom in for seemingly no reason. So I think most of this fight, I just want to hip fire and sort of backpedal along. I've also chucked the wounding effect on this just to give us a little bit of extra power. Hopefully we don't get spotted. Oh, we got spotted. I'm going to finish off these Mylarks because they're annoying me being compass marks on the map. That's right, you can get out of here, Krabby. That's right, you can die. And that one will just give us a good old left hook with his claw. But we'll finish him off due to stealth damage. Got staggered twice there thanks to Swan. Woohoo. Go ahead and reload and try to get ourselves out of danger. He's good with his rock throwing arm today, I'll tell you that much. There we go, back into caution. Let's just wait until we've got a good moment to engage. We'll move back a little bit. There we go. We'll use this long scope now to get some more shots on him. Probably be a lot better if I had the semi-auto receiver on this scope because obviously we'll be benefiting from the sniper perk and we could possibly knock him over from time to time, which would be good at diffusing his threat, but whatever. We should be fine doing just what we're doing now, and we'll just do a little bit of hip fire there because the hip fire is so good when you're standing still crouched and have a short parrel on it, which is really good. But he's on his way now, so we'll backpedal as we shoot at him. Keep going, keep going. And a couple more mags should do him in, but... For now, the stealth on this weapon is really helping me out. I should probably kill him nice and easily at this rate. But in case we don't or we run into some water, that would be a shame. Hang on, you've got a ghoul reaver there, mate. I know they're not as scary as they were in Fallout 3. But uh, you should probably figure out that he's over there and take him out. Hold on, it looks like I've run into a lobster of some description. Where is he? Ah, there he is! Looks like there's a fight for the ages going on here. My money's on the albino lobster there. Yeah, he didn't last long, did he? So you could back off with your hideous face. And... Ah, uh, we'll kill that one. Why not? Let's go ahead and take him out. Looks like there's another ghoul taking on a lobster over there. The ghoul's victorious this time due to play intervention. But I'll go ahead and fix that right now. So there you have it, that was the Infiltrator against Swan. We'll go ahead and chuck on some new attachments and chuck the Furious Effect on and see how fast we can lay waste to some ancient Commonwealth bears, shall we? That sounds fun. Alright, here we are. Time to kill some bears. Got this thing fitted with a stock once again. So there's the bash animation there, which I haven't shown off yet. And there's that reflex scope there. It says a red dot, a red dot sight, but... Uh, no, that's not, that's definitely not red. I know I'm colorblind, but I can surely tell that, that that is in fact a green little reticule there. So there we go, we've 
gone and got stuck into this bear and this weapon being as silent as it is haven't been quite detected yet but now we're in for a big fight here so let's just go ahead and use this thing in vats now that this thing's fairly optimized to do it can I turn the camera around please I want to I want to target his face there we go there we go that'll take him out so we just gotta wait for the bullets to go on there and then we'll stack that damage he is definitely one dead bear very very good so let's just finish off the rest of these bears here we should be able to stagger them very very nicely indeed although we are getting a little bit swarmed right now so I guess we'll try and hold them back on this bridge luckily I get massive amounts of screen shake whenever I stagger these dudes I'm I'm sure that was the intended function of their stagger from Bethesda to give you screen shake and possibly even um, motion sickness from staring at it too long just like Operation Locker back in the uh, Battlefield 4 days. But I think this is indeed the last bear going in the hidden for a second. That is indeed the last of them, so that's very good indeed. So that's about it for the R91 Assault Rifle. Definitely a solid weapon back from the depths of the Capital Wasteland. I was about to say Commonwealth there, but wrong game, obviously. So if you'd like this weapon in your game, be sure to check out the description. As far as I know, this one's on um, PC only, but that will be subject to change the mod author might port this to Xbox One in time. But poor PS4 guys, you can't get this. Sorry about that. I'll be looking to put more PS4 friendly content out in the future, but this one caught my eye on the Nexus. I hope you enjoyed regardless, so thank you for watching guys.